hey do you want to lose all your friend i mean do you want to be an ethical hacker sure i can teach you some why don't we start by exploiting one of microsoft's stupidest features in windows the sticky keys what is sticky keys who the f cares all you need to know is when you press the shift key five times something happens and we want that something to be a command prompt so let's do that step one wear a different shirt it's important step two just search for set c in the start menu just click on open file location which will open up the explorer you just have to cut the set c file and move it outside don't copy it cut it from there you can create a backup folder in some other drive and keep it there now search for cmd which is command prompt again click on open file location now this one you see here is a shortcut so you have to select the open file location once again and that is the application copy it from there go back to the set c path which is c drive windows system 32 and paste it now simply rename the cmd to setc.exe. You don't have to change the extension, you can keep it as it is. And once it is saved with confirmation, every time now you press the shift key five times, the command prompt shows up anywhere. Yes, anywhere, even on the lock screen. Try it out. Lock the computer and just enable the sticky keys from the bottom right accessibility menu. And that's it. Press the shift key five times and there you go. You can now access all of the command prompt shortcuts and commands from the lock screen without knowing the password. And the user of the computer won't even know that something has been changed. Like you can access say notepad.exe and there you go, you can access all the files. The ones in the C drive are protected so you can't access them like you know desktop or videos, those shortcuts are protected. But you may have noticed that this external drive is accessible. I can access all the text files that I want. I can even create text files and save it if I want to. I can even open task manager and kill off any programs that they may have running. It would be kind of fun to kill the explorer, which is the windows home screen. Just close the task manager, close everything and go away. You know, next time when they log in, it'll just be a blank screen. They'll be freaking out as to what happened. But it's easy to fix, don't worry. Anyone who knows that the explorer has been terminated, they can just open the task manager once again, create a new task and just type explorer.exe. You can even change their wallpapers and stuff, really mess with their head. But again, as I said, this is ethical hacking. So you shouldn't do it on anyone else's machine without their permission. This is for educational purposes only. So just use it for fun. You can set this as an emergency backdoor in case you need to kind of access your files without unlocking your machine. Maybe you forgot your password or something.